And WENY political analyst Dr. Jim Twombly joining us in studio. Jim, we had a, a whole other topic that we were going to uh, discuss today, but this uh, breaking news regarding former President Donald Trump dropping just within the past uh, 15 to 20 minutes or so. Well on air. <laughs> um, so here's what we know so far. Info is kind of coming out in dribs and drabs a little bit. Uh, the former president has been charged by the Justice Department for his efforts to overturn the results of the 2020 election. This is the uh, indictment that I think a lot of people expected, but now we're actually getting a look at what those charges are. Uh, they include conspiracy to defraud the United States government and uh, witness uh, tampering. So again, uh, this was widely expected that this indictment was coming. He had been informed by the special counsel that he was the target of a grand jury investigation. So, you know, where are we now? Well, we are where we were before. I would imagine that uh, kind of tongue in cheek here, his donations are going to go up. His support among his core in the Republican Party is going to solidify and increase. Uh, but these are very serious charges. Um, yes, the Mar-a-Lago charges are important. They uh, bump up against national security. And then we've got, uh, we've got the issue of obstruction of justice there. But here we're talking about an attempted coup, uh, an attempted insurrection. Um, the, uh, I've just been skimming through the charges. This is, again, an indictment that many have referred to as a talking or speaking indictment, where they're using the timeline of what happened on the morning of January 6th, detailing the things that Donald Trump said. Uh, there's even a reference to co-conspirator number two, who I think from this is John Eastman. Uh, and what he said, uh, what they were directing the crowd to do that day. Um, this is very serious. I haven't gotten as far as the uh, witness tampering uh, charge yet, but judged uh, based on what we've already seen, we can guess that that's probably related to uh, people like Cassidy Hutchinson and others uh, who testified before the January 6th committee and then later on with those who were attempting to cooperate with the grand jury. Okay, and so uh, just following these minute-by-minute minute updates, it looks like uh, uh, Trump has been notified uh, of the indictment. There are um, six unnamed and un unindicted co-conspirators, uh, and it looks like the president is expected, former president, rather, is expected to be in court uh, on Thursday, Thursday. Yes, uh, that's the August, arraignment. August yep. 3rd. Um, so, like you said, Jim, I, I, for his supporters, this doesn't seem like it's going to particularly sway them in any way, but rather uh, bolster even, even more support right. for him. Which is what we've seen every time that there's been an indictment or some other uh, kind of allegation against him. His support seems to solidify. Uh, this will probably continue that trend. Okay. Well, Jim, we are going to continue to follow the developments. Again, this, this information is just coming out uh, little by little a as we speak. So we will continue to follow these updates both on air and online. But uh, thanks for helping us just make some sense of what we know right now. My pleasure.